in Chesterfield, Missouri. I'm a former teacher. I'm a business <laughs> owner with my husband. I'm a cancer survivor. I'd like to also say that I'm the daughter of the Show Me State. And I think the problem we're all having is that we've lost confidence and trust in our government. <laughs> when you have Social Security, and we all pay our money in, and then the government goes and borrows it and tells Good us girl. we're going to take $500 billion out of Social Security, Medicare to pay for this program. That doesn't mean cash. That means services. And that means on page 425, the elderly, our parents, and I'm a baby boomer, we're all going to be there. They're going to make us pay for everyone having insurance. Now, I am for people having insurance, but there's got to be a better way. We are Americans. We have ingenuity and we have other ways of coming up with money. I'm a big contributor to charities. And I think Americans would be willing to pay their fair share for those who do not have health care. But we don't, want, we don't want what we have to be taken away from us. <laughs> Senator McCaskill, before she was Senator, was an auditor. And she went from county to county telling people, where's the missing money? Where are we going to come up with the money? What's going on here? I want Claire to give us an explanation. Truly, $500 billion, that's in services. That's not in cash. We're broke. Yeah. And the other thing I'd like to bring up, because I don't want to repeat everybody else's comments, is privacy. Yeah. Right. Nobody's yes. mentioned privacy. Right. When, the, when a federal employee takes a laptop computer with veteran social security numbers and walks off and the government doesn't know where it is, how would you like your medical records taken by somebody and you don't know who they are and it's shared? This is, this is an America. We should have privacy between our doctors and the patient. And I think Claire needs to really address that because this pooling, yes, while it's efficient technology, it lays itself open. If people try to crack through the Pentagon's computer system, how many people are going to break through and find out who has what? SDS, cancer, genetic diseases? I mean, it's nobody's business. It's very, very likely that this is not going to be secure. So please ask for how they're going to do this. Diagnosis, 
You don't want to be drugged for it. You don't want to be denied the right to own a firearm. So, so why, when we're cutting actual medical services for people who have actual medical illnesses, why does, do they want to expand psychiatric services that are based on diagnoses that have no medical test? There is no proof for these things. They're normal life. And then, and, and then they want to give parity. It's like writing a blank check for your local shrink.